We are in the midst of a massive barn and land renovation and it's all happening at the same time. The whole reason that we're even doing this renovation is because this room is actually the only spot that we can cover our camper van so we can be building inside. This room has it all. It has a big natural light and we can also park the van right here and work on it in a heated environment. We have to have a custom garage door and everything and it wouldn't fit anywhere else. Lottie's dad and his team are back at it and helping us reorganize the entire land while we renovate the barn. And one of the first big things we need to do is move a lot of this wood. These checks are crazy, man. They build too fast. I can't keep up. Oh my God, that whole door is gone. <laughs> oh my God, we have a door. <laughs> Our objectives for the next few days create an entire water drainage system next to the new barn because otherwise all of the water will get in and crack the foundation. We have to create a shed for this wood. Plus it's time to build up an entire new wall for the barn. I think we spent a thousand dollars for screws. That's what I think. Have you ever tried doing a scene like this when construction guys are watching you? Is she trying to be sexual on the wood pile? Oh, cause it's not working. Look at all that cleared. To move that container to the back, that awful container, <laughs> we need to move the wood first. And that is a mega task. Yesterday, Lottie's dad flattened the entire foundation of what will be the shed. If you're like me, you're probably thinking, holy moly, that is a lot of firewood, and it certainly is. The plan, of course, is for this collection to last us many seasons to come to completely heat up the workshop during the winter months. Look how massive that is. This shed was dropped off by, I think, one of Lottie's dad's friends that they didn't want it anymore. Could they just store it here? And that was 10 years ago. Basically, the table is made up of what looks like these Lego pieces and they all get clamped together. So it only took like two and a half hours. Our decision to renovate this entire land requires a lot of redoing older decisions, such as the water and the plumbing, because what's been happening is the rain has all been dripping down from the roof and it gets into the foundation. So we're setting up a way for the water to escape. That's what Kostya has been working on. And that needs to be done along the whole building. Oh my God, that whole door is gone. <laughs> that whole thing. It looks so naked. If I never see that green color again, that'll be the best day ever. One is that Lottie's known all of these guys since he was like a teenager. So everybody working here together is a blast looking for Lottie to see what he's up to and always get to first thing, admire the Cyberbike. Such a friggin' cool machine. I like the gold, the gold fork. 
pretty sweet. They need some welding and some threaded rods for the foundation of the wall. Not a problem. This is my go-to. Let's take a look what we can make here. Ooh. This is exactly why I like hoarding all of these threaded rods of cuts. They always find some problems. It's just a matter of time. I've been doing a lot of land work, made us some smoothies, fed all the animals that I'm for some reason responsible for feeding. And in that time, look at that, the wall has begun. These are those threads that Lottie just welded and they're used to connect the concrete base along the floor to what will be the wooden wall structure. Bunny doing some maintenance on one of the used door frames we found online. We seriously did one week of non-stop driving in and out all over, all over the place, picking up windows and secondhand <laughs> doors like that so we can all recycle them. That cost us <laughs> probably $400. No. It was a huge money saver. And we have windows all around, as much natural light as possible. I'm so, I'm so happy. I'm so excited for when we start laying some gravel down because the wind brings all of this dust. Every time it's windy. Ah! Good morning. We are the last ones to the workshop this morning. That means it is 7.30 already and there is chaos going on outside. Let's take a look. Dad has a flamethrower at 7.30 in the morning. Just chilling. <laughs> so that's what's happening over at the barn. Then I'll show you what's going on with the water system this morning. Lining it with sand. Uh, for all of these years, the, all the water from the roof, collected from the surface of the roof, would be going down here under the foundation. That essentially like under, you know, goes under and then it makes the whole building shift. So now what we're doing properly is taking the water away from the foundation and we're making this big pit with the raw stones so the water can go in there and just soak straight into ground. Mm. That's pretty cool. It's a massive pit too. It's like kind of hard to show how deep that really is. All of the pipes need to be uh, all around the sand so they don't get 
you know punctured through throughout the time and all the pressure underground this is killer clouds are moving quickly but we got some rocks that just arrived what just happened seriously whoa Vladi is a cabinet maker by trade, so every now and then he'll have a side project with an advanced furniture piece. Why do I always end up doing the most complicated work? <laughs> look at his, look at his built-in furniture piece. In our past videos, we haven't really shown the other projects that are always going on at the workshop, such as the cyber bikes being built or unique furniture being made. Because it doesn't relate to the van or some constructions, a lot of the times we don't film it. But we want to change that because we think that it will give you a better picture of what this workspace really looks like on the average day. Don't look at it. These are crimes that will be hidden later on. <laughs> I've never seen that video footage. Built crimes. That's a built crime right there. Okay, it's time to see how much off I am <laughs> from my template. This is actually, if it fits in a template, I know exactly how it's gonna go on a wall. Looks like something like, wow, even the squareness, the squareness is spot on. Nice, that's perfect. Are you listening podcasts too? Yeah. <laughs> One CNC there, the other CNC there, higher windows for more light, everything painted white. And look at those massive openings there. With always natural right, light from here. And this is where the sun rises. And that's where it, where it actually sets. Already filled this in first with sand and now back with the mud. See, there's the pipe. Plus, this whole spot cleared. Look at how massive that is. What's nice about this shed location too is that it kind of blocks off a part of the neighbor's fence. So it really extends that privacy. It'll look much better when it's all painted from the outside, but we have time. That's lower on the list. Now we can start properly being able to utilize this whole piece of land. Feels like forever it's just been a little line road opening. Lottie and I are kind of having to pinch ourselves like every five minutes that this is even happening here because when we discussed originally renovating this land, converting this land, we were mostly gonna do it alone. And then we started looping in Lottie's dad and other friends and family and these guys. And it just goes so quickly. Like we had no idea when we'd ever finish a project like this. And now it's possible to finish it in the next few months. I don't think it will be completely done, but at least majorly cleared. It's 
really wild and we're really, really thankful. So amazing, cool. Amazing collaboration. How there are no lights in here. This is all natural light coming through. That is pretty absurd. Wow. I feel like my entire day is just running around with the camera and following what each group is doing because there's always progress, like it's non-stop. And I turn around for one minute to drone and I come back and they're putting a window in already. Like, look at that. <laughs> I didn't know that was a tool. You think we spent a thousand dollars for screws? That's what I think. I'll have to ask my accountant about that. Seriously, have a door. Oh my God, we have a door. <laughs> Look at that view. Once we clear all the wood, we're just looking at gardens. Now it's the best time of day, and that's talking with Lottie's dad about tomorrow's plans. Some big reflections and a big plan. <laughs> We need to do a bunch of measurements here because this is where we need to start prepping the land for the foundation <laughs> that will be holding our two containers that will ultimately turn Sonic's into a container living space, a full-on container home. So if we're lucky, as soon as tomorrow, we could start digging some holes for the foundation. If we can sort out where to move these sheds to because they're still full of stuff. Do it again, do it again! <laughs> this was not on today's itinerary. We did not realize we'd be moving this also. <laughs>